Well, good morning, beautiful people. This is your girl, Kimberly K, K with two Y's, K A Y Y, Fantastic Relations. It is Sunday morning. I am about to catch my church program on TV today. You know, listen to a little bit of the word. Then I am about to um, do some laundry. I'm about to get Sunday dinner started early today. Um, but before I do anything, as you see, I have to have my coffee. Um, I hope everyone woke up this morning in good spirits and in an awesome mood like I did. Um, once again, this is your girl, Kimberly K. Thank you to us. Hey, why, why? Good vacations. Um, let me say welcome and hello to all my fantastics. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, then please take the moment and subscribe to my channel, you guys. Also, you guys, the coffee maker, because remember, um, when I showed you the items I purchased and the coffee maker was one of them and I told you guys I would let you know how the coffee maker works this is a wonderful 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 coffee maker oh my god it's very quick fast simple easy to use I love it love it love it this is an awesome coffee maker so this coffee maker gets 10 thumbs up it gets 10 um, stars I love it Okay, you guys, starting my Sunday dinner. Remember I told you guys on my other um, video that I had, I got the kale greens, and this was my first time having kale greens. Um, I was asking, did anybody have any recipes on how to cook the kale greens? I looked at different YouTube videos and looked at some other videos from some other sites, and I did not like any way that everyone was cooking their kale greens. Um, it was just not for me how people was doing it. Um, so um, me, I was just like, I'm going to cook them my way and see how it turns out. I'm going to cook these just like if I was cooking some collard greens or some mustard or turnip greens. Um, a lot of people said kale greens is more like um, spinach. Um, I don't know. It didn't really look like it was more like spinach, but um, I'm going to do mine different. I have three bags of these glory kale greens. Even though they're supposed to be clean, it's a lot of stems in there. I don't like stems in my greens, so I will be cleaning these. Removing all these stems and getting these washed. Because even with Glory Greens, even though they say they're re already ready to um, cook, they're not. You still have to go through them and clean them and remove a lot of stems. Well, some people like stems, but I don't like any stems in my greens. Okay, starting off, you guys, I have my crock pot. And inside my crock pot, I'm starting off, you guys, um, with some seasoning at the bottom. And then I have some smoked neck bones. I'm going to do this three times. So first, I'm going to do it with this. I'm going to add one bag of the greens. I'm going to do a second repeat with the seasoning, the onions, and all that, and the neck bones, and the greens. And then I'm going to do it a third time. So it's basically going to be on layers because I want flavor. And this is how I do my collard greens as well. Collard greens is my number one green I always cook, which I'm going to probably cook. No, I'm going to do cabbage on Easter, but... Um, collard greens is my number one green that I love and I have to um, I like a lot of flavor in my greens a lot of people don't like to put onions everybody cook greens their own way so right now I'm cooking these kale greens my own way okay this is what I used guys was garlic powder seasoned salt veggie grill garlic herb black pepper and the basil oregano garlic seasoning so far is what I have inside that crock pot with some fresh cut up onions let me get started washing and adding greens. Okay, you guys, I got done with the first bag. So now you see all these stems, you know, so they said they're already supposed to be clean, but really to me, they're not already clean. You still have to clean them. Now I'm about to wash these greens very, very well because we all know that they grow in dirt. So I'm going to really, really wash these very well. Um, I'm very particular about my food. I don't like people um, that's just not clean with um, food. I don't eat everybody's um, cooking that's a no-no it's a lot of things i hate i just don't like germs you know it's just like when you go into like stores like walmart and whatever them dollars they lick their fingers to open up your bags oh my god i hate that so much and i mean i'm using the word hate i hate that it's very nasty to me it's very trifling to me why are you putting your spit on someone bags and then touching their items that is very nasty and i think stores should teach all their employees not to do that that is very, very nasty. I done got into it with so many people in stores for licking their fingers and me telling them, like, can you please not lick your fingers? Can you please go wash your hands? And can you please put my stuff in some different bags? Because it's just so nasty. But back to the greens, you guys. So I'm going to get these greens washed, and I'll be back. 
So you guys, I have the greens all in my crock pot. Again, these are kale greens. You guys, I'm cooking them with smoked neck bones. I have all my seasonings. I have my vegetable flakes. I have my red pepper flakes. I have garlic, seasoned salt, black pepper. I have um, some chopped onions, but then also have some fresh onions cut up. I also added some apple cider vinegar to the greens now i'm going to let these greens cook for an hour like i said this is my recipe i came up with it today um i'm cooking it just like i cook my collard greens i usually put um cut up tomatoes and put them in my collard greens just at the top of it um i don't have no tomatoes i thought i had some but i'm not going to put these in these kale greens so well, I'm not going to put the tomatoes in the um, kale greens, but that's usually how I do my collard greens. I just like that taste. I like what, what it does to the um, collard greens. But this is my way because I like my greens to have flavor. Like I said, I've seen a lot of recipes on YouTube and other sites, and I did not like any of those recipes. Um, nothing against the recipes. I just don't like them. Everybody cooks different. And this is the way I want to do my kale greens. I have water added in this. Um, I'm not going to fill my crock pot to the top with water because that would be too much water because as we know, any type of green, they shrink. This is going to shrink down into this crock pot once it starts cooking. I have my crock pot on high and I'm going to let these cook you guys. On to the next part of Sunday dinner. Guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and get my ribs clean. As you can see, there's a lot of fat on these ribs, but I'm going to get all that fat off the membrane and get these ribs clean. I have these kind right here. These right here is nothing but um, Danish style spare ribs. Then I also have the country style ribs, which I believe is just like the shoulder part. But I'm going to get all this um, clean. I really don't like pork, but today I can do pork. I probably have about two pieces of rib and I think I'll be okay. So I'm going to get the ribs clean, seasoned, and, and all that, guys. Using the same season I use for the greens. The only thing I'm going to add to the um, season list is some barbecue spice. So I have, well, it's barbecue rub, but I say, well, it's spice. It's, bar it's spice rub. It's a barbecue spice rub. I'm going to add this um, um, smoky um, steak seasoning. It's really for steak, but you can put it on your ribs. It tastes good. I'm going to add some beef stock. That's what I'm going to cook it in so it don't stick to the pan. They don't be dry. I'm going to add beef stock and excuse the water running, you guys. I'm just getting my bowl of water so I can kind of soak my ribs in it to get them clean. And I'm going to use some um, Goya, Goya um, extra um, virgin olive oil. And then I'm going to also use some red wine. And then I'm going to use all the same seasonings, you guys, I use for the greens that I showed you. So I'm going to get that started. And I'm going to cook the, they're going to be in the same pan, but I'm going to make sure I wrap these ones up in a different um, set of um, aluminum foil. Because, like I said, these are the country style ribs. So I don't want them mixed with the Danish ribs. And I'm going to make these a little bit more spicier. So my children probably won't eat these ones.